a powerful mural painted over, originally showing images of seven black Sacramento men, all killed by law enforcement. Now, the removal of the images is stirring up controversy among community members. The unsigned work went up at the Guild Theater, but was quickly taken down by owners who thought it was just vandalism. So we wanted to know who painted it, and did they have permission? CBS 13's Carlos Correa is live in Oak Park getting answers. Carlos? That's right, and on one side of the building you have graffiti, on the other side you have a mural created as a memorial, and today all of it came down. This is what the side of the Guild Theater building looked like after artists created a mural that showed seven black men who they say were killed by police. On top of the faces, a hashtag with the phrase, rest in power. This is what it looked like when owners contracted a company to take it down. Eight huge red circles. Well, more work has been done today to help bring the building back to the way it looked. The owner believes the mural was vandalism. But leaders with Black Lives Matter Sacramento say it should have not been removed because it was a memorial. The removal company says the artist who did not sign the work also did not have permission from the property owner to create the mural. People who live in this neighborhood say there should be an open dialogue about issues in the community. Well, I think that you need to abide the law, so if it's someone's property, maybe you should ask them first. But at the same time, public art is a huge part of any culture and community. And art is a safe way to get very, you know, scary, angry, sad feelings out in, in a way that you feel heard. Black Lives Matter Sacramento is planning on a rally next weekend right here at the theater. Community organizers want the mural back. Carlos Correa in Oak Park Forest tonight. Carlos, thank you. Next at five now, overdosing 